Ladies and gentlemen, this is Slice Lime with a second news video of today because today not only do we have a new pre-release of Minecraft the Java Edition, we also have a new beta version of the launcher. I normally don't talk much about these, but this one is a major overhaul of the entire look and feel of the launcher, so you might be interested in having a sneak peek onto this before it releases fully. So I'm going to show you how to activate it. This is the default look of the launcher when you just open it. In order to switch to the beta, you need to open the settings. That means you have to open this menu and these tabs appear. You go into settings and then hit update to beta versions of the launcher. You'll see it tells you here that you now have to restart the launcher in order to get it. So we're going to do that. We'll close this one and we'll start it again. And you'll see that it auto updates and now we'll get the new launcher, the new look and feel instead. And so here it is. You can see that this looks very different. We have the news is on its own tab or section now, as opposed to the first thing that pops up. So we can see them here. They're still the same news, but they're off to the side now. And in the Minecraft Java Edition, the section here, we have installations. That's what used to be called configurations or profiles. And we also have patch notes, which is a thing that a lot of you have asked for before. So you can go in and check out the latest patch notes in here. I'm not going to go through all of the things in it. You can go here and explore for yourself. I will mention two things. The first thing is this is not available on the Linux version of the launcher because it doesn't self-update. The second is if you have any problems, you can go back to the non-beta version. So you do that by going into settings. That's down here on this version. And in here, just unclick use beta version of the launcher. You'll see you'll get uh, the update notification here again. And then if we restart once again, then we'll be back to the good old classic version of the launcher. So please do try this new launcher out. One of the things that is improved in this new version is the support for accessibility. So if you have a narrator screen reader, then the new version should work much, much better for you. But please do try it out. Leave any bugs you find on the Minecraft issue tracker in the Minecraft launcher project. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. This is Slice Lime. I will see you next time.